guys, it's actually for another two reviews, and today I'm here with Latino Bucks. Um, this is a snack subscription that has the best of snacks from Latin America. Um, they have two different options. There is, I wrote them down there. <laughs> There's the um, the mini, which is sixteen dollars, and that has six plus snacks. And then there is the original, which is twenty nine dollars and has twelve to fifteen. I'm not sure which one this is because I don't know what's in here yet. Um, so a little backstory about me and my experience with um, snacks from Latin America. My dad is Hispanic. Well, I'm that makes me Hispanic, but he didn't. He doesn't really identify. He doesn't speak Spanish. Um, so I didn't have a lot of submersion via him. I did grow up in this extremely diverse area, though, and that meant we had a lot of bodegas, and thus we had very many Latin snacks. And so I may actually know many of these, and so we will see. I'm kind of excited. Get to show off a little or look like a total dum dum, but whatever. All right, so we have. All right, it's like a party. All right, so we're gonna. There's a card here, and this I'm guessing is showing us everything that's in the box. And then there's a little sticker. This is fun. I gotta put that on something. Oh my goodness. So this. So there's their little social sharing. You can tag yourself with the box. It's a colorful box. I think I'll do it. Um, and then there's a word list. So Buenos Aires is uh, capital. Sucre is sugar. Uh, let's see how good I am at this. Brasilia is Brazil. Santiago, Bogota, Bogota, Colombia. See, I knew that. San Juan, Puerto Rico, Havana, Cuba. Uh, Santo Domingo. See, I'm saying, look, they're only putting Havana. I know where that's at. Um, and so that just goes down, um, different, are they all, they're all capitals. Yeah. Cause there's Lima, Peru. Um, so anyway, yeah. So there goes out in the word list. There's a little word search. So this is definitely something that you can learn a little bit from too, which is kind of cool. All right. So the first thing is plantainitos, plantain chips. I don't know if these are the salty ones. Um, it looks like they're the salty ones. I actually, they are, they are sweet ones. Those are the ones I love the most, but these are good too. I will definitely eat these. Um, so I'm looking to see if they're, yes, they're the salt ones, but that's okay. I'll still eat them. <laughs> they're still delicious. It's hard to find the sweet ones though. I don't know why. You think that they are they're really good or maybe it's just like maybe they're like not very common and I've had like them once and I look for them and they're they're never there. Where do I buy them? I don't know. All right. So next we have Maritas Fresca. These are cookies. So these are strawberry filled like cookie bars. I have never actually had these, but I do believe I've seen them. Um, and these are from Marinella. I my kids will adore these like from the bottom of their little hearts all right now we have oh my gosh this is and obviously i'm going to link down below to my full blog review where i'll go in depth this is not going to be like a tasting video or anything like that because then i'd have to get the kids involved you know and that gets crazy all right so here we have something i've never seen anything like this before this is terabusi alfajor classico dolce de leche there we go so this is like a little cake I think there's two. Did I see two? No, I did not. Oh, I see something good in there. All right, in my hut. I should have had my husband do this too. He is, um, he travels to Spain a lot um, with his company, not his current company, but a prior company. He speaks fluent Spanish. He knows a lot of, um, he grew up in El Paso too, which is so close to, Me it's like right, right next to Mexico. Um, but he's traveling, so whatever. He couldn't be here. All right, now we have, um, so this is a pineapple soda or seltzer. I'm not sure. Naturally and artificially flavored. I'll, we'll drink this. I will definitely drink this. I love the can. It's a lot of fun. Look. It's a lot of fun. Look, what am I saying? What am I saying? All right. Anyways, so this is clearly, this is definitely the large box. All right. So here we have... Vera Mango. These are lollipops. I've seen these in another video, an unboxing video. Um, they have a, is it tamarind flavor? I'm not sure. Ooh, but look at all the ingredients. Sh chili pepper. So this has like a peppery, maybe a hot. I don't know. I've never had these though. 
So I'm excited. Yum, yum. All right. All right, all right, all right. What else? Where did she start? So we have some coconut pineapple uh, bocaditos de coco y pina with coconut chips. It's a sort of, maybe it's like a, I don't know what that is. Where is this? I got to look where all these are from too because some of them, they're all from different places. I'm, now I'm like wanting to know. So it looks like some, almost maybe like a taffy or like a fruit, like a fruit, dried fruit or something like that. Wow. So there's two of those. Then we've got, oh baby, Jerome and Mani. Some sort of a wafer. I don't know. I want to open it. It like, it like one of those cookies, like the air crisps, the wafers. I can't think of the name. <gasps> um, but definitely going to try it from a company called Arcor. See if I can find where it's from. Hey, and if you guys know anything, it's from Argentina. See, I did see that part. Um, if you guys know anything, put it down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you tried anything or you would like to try anything or whatever, you just come, you just tell me. You just put that down below. All right. Ooh. Don Sator. These are Biscocho Dulce. These are also from Argentina. This, um, where I grew up, we did not have a lot of Argentinian people. I did, however, live, um, when I lived outside of Washington, D.C., there was a lot of Argentinian people I met there, but I did not get a lot of exposure to the different foods or snacks. Um, so I don't know what these are. They feel hard, like maybe a crisp candy or some sort of a cracker. Not sure. I'm going to look at the card once I get everything out. Kind of see there. All right, so you got a whole bunch of these little... Um, candies here. These are Super Natilla. Mmm, they look yummy. All right. All right, so we got, dang, there's a lot of stuff in here, guys. Kua Kua wafer. So this is, a, I guess, another wafer. It feels like the same kind as the other one, but this one has this fun duck character on the front. Nestle Savoy chocolate con leche. So I'm guessing this is like a milk chocolate bar. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh my God. These boxes are bad because like, I'm like, okay, you're not going to eat all of it. And then I open it up and I eat one little piece and I'm like, Psh, I'm going to eat the whole thing. And then I wind up doing that for all of this stuff. And I gained 10 pounds and you know. All right. Then I have some cherry candies. From Vero, this is the same company that made the other little ditty. These look yummy. I love cherry. All right. All right. Uh-oh, this one got popped open. Oh, no. This one was popped open. But this is Dolce de Leche Caramel Spread. Ooh, I've never seen anything like that. That looks yummy. Too bad it opened up. Oops. Um, things happen. Life happens. Uh, but you can see, <laughs> can see the caramel in there. All right. All right. Oh, I've had one of these before. This is a Casino Sabor Locuma. I don't know. I think they have different flavors. I don't know which one this is. We will find out. It looks like it might be vanilla or caramel or something like that. They're like cookies. Like a sandwich cookie, I guess I should say that. But I think like you can see in the image there what it's like. All right. Finally. I think that's it. Yes. Holy smokes. Bauducho, Duco, I'm sorry. That's terrible. I feel bad because I know I'm not saying it right. Anyway, chocolate wafers. So these are little like sandwich cookies like the others. Well, I'm guessing what the others are. These you can actually see. This is like a wafer cookie and then it has chocolate in between. Crispy and delicate. Um, these are Brazilian, so that's cool. Um, I love that the box pulls from all over the place because even if you are familiar with a certain uh, aspect of snacks from a certain country, they're definitely gonna bring in stuff that you may never have heard of before. Lots of fun. I do want to look at the paper. Where did I put it? Okay. So we know about the plantain chips. Um, so that was wafer with nougat paste and peanut for this guy. Um, the 
The ju the Jupina is from Cuba. It's a snappy and delicious tropical pineapple soda. Uh, then we have the Don Sator. That's the big bag of these guys. Is classic sweet biscuits. Uh, ooh, and you're supposed to eat these with herba mate, which is like that tea. All right, so these are chewy candy. We got. And then we have this, the Nest and Savoy. I think that one pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, what didn't we know? Oh. I'm trying to be efficient here with my time. Um, the Casino Cookies, those are from Peru. The Vero Mango Lollipop is from Mexico. It's mango flavored, covered with chili, so it is spicy. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, the little candies in the gold are um, toffee flavored. And then these, oh, okay. Where are they, baby? Where did I put them? Oh my goodness. Oh, this, here we go. This is chocolate coated sandwich cookie filled with dolce de leche. Try not to get addicted. Okay, so that is everything that we received in the Latino box. This is amazing. I can't wait to eat it all. It's so yummy. Um, um, please do check out the full blog review if you want to know like what we think of the flavors and all that stuff. Um, and also check out Latino box below. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.